Stock number two this week. Stock number two is IPG Photonics. IPG Photonics recently traded at about $83 a share, and it's uh, worth about the same amount as Carter's, $4.4 billion in this case. It has a risk rating of, a, of six. Low risk company. Now, IPG Photonics legacy lasers are going out, and fiber lasers are coming in. This is a trend that's been going on quite a while. Fiber lasers, and by the way, I am not an engineer here, so I'm bringing out my best English major explanation for you. Fiber lasers are basically better technology that is more cost effective. So it's a nice disruptive combination of more affordable, cheaper prices and superior technology. And in fact, since the CEO founded this company in 1990, his name is Valentin Gaponsev, he's been a brilliant manager. A, one of the best unknown CEOs in America. So here he is, 26 years later, at the helm of this company that took the technology that he brought to our country from his native country of Russia and has created a great entrepreneurial enterprise based in Massachusetts today. But IPG Photonics, just to give you a little bit about where we where we picked the stock and how long we've been following it. I first picked it in April of 2007 at $20.53, so pretty happy that it's around 83 today, even if it's down from its recent highs. It's up about 250%, but importantly for this one, a year later, in March of 2008, it had dropped from 20 to about 13 and we recommended it again. And I'm foreshadowing our general investing principle with this one, which I'll cover in a sec, but that, that position is up about five times in value since then. And of course, both are well ahead of the market. Now, this technology is very relevant. Um, it, it spans many different industries. Um, we're talking about medical industry, telecom. Um, if you are a movie theater owner and you want a more beautiful picture, you're probably looking at IPG's laser technology. Um, lithium-ion battery systems for electric cars. There's a lot of laser welding that's making those battery systems, those lithium-ion battery systems, possible. So this is a company with lots, not just one customer, lots of different applications across multiple industries, which I like a lot. And finally, I already mentioned I like the CEO a lot. He's been around for a long time, owns some stock, and he's created a great company. Um, a note of caution about IPG Photonics. You may have heard China's slowing down. China is a meaningful market for this company. So, this company, like some others, gets dinged when we hear the slowdown in China affecting global business. That's something you have to know about IPG Photonics. That's stock number two, my general investing principle. Uh, you know, buying good companies right into the teeth of bear markets is rewarding. And I hope that sounds good to you this particular week as we find ourselves in mid-February of 2016. A lot of us looking... I'm wearing a big red sweater today. For those who might be watching the video of this podcast on Yahoo Finance, you'll see me in a great big red sweater because my stocks have are well down over the last few months. I think my own portfolio, I'm down, I think, more than 25% last I looked, which is not a very nice two months for anybody's portfolio. But I say that with a smile on my face because it's happened before, it'll happen again in future. And in particular, as I talk about these companies this week, I'm feeling really good about their prospects three plus years going forward. And IPG is no exception. And I love being able to point back to 2008, where we watched our stock pick go from 20 to 13, and we said we're buying. And that position is really up over the last seven or eight years. So that's what I'm thinking about this stock in another seven to eight years. We'll see. As always, people on this program may have interest in the stocks they talk about, and The Motley Fool may have formal recommendations for or against. So don't buy or sell stocks based solely on what you hear. Learn more about Rulebreaker Investing at rbi.fool.com.